welcome to gautam digital learning my name is revati i am java full stack trainer gautam digital learning let's start our today's video as we were discussing about platform independency an application that is compiled in one operating system if we can run the same application in different operating system then we can say that we have achieved platform independence java is the best example for platform independent language java is completely platform independent language okay what is the major use what is the major use for if we have platform independence the major use is we can develop internet based applications if you see c c++ are not platform dependent platform independent they are platform dependent languages okay c c++ are platform dependent languages in that case what will happen we cannot develop internet based applications coming to java java is giving us access to develop internet based applications how that is happening let's see first with the real life program if we see in the notepad if we write let's suppose class i have written and i have given class name as sample this is our first program and i have given public static void main string ox okay why we have given public why we have given static why it is void only why can't int if it to to int what will happen why we have we written here string ox at the place of ox can we write your name my name or gautam digital learning name or if we put like that do we get any error these kind of a things we will discuss in class very clearly okay so let first program that is system dot out dot println and uh, hi all if i am trying to print i am closing the main method i am closing the class if you are able to see here i will see all my programs over here uh, at the desktop in the revati java i will save so this folder is completely empty let's save it now okay i am doing control s yes, and i am saving with sample dot java and i am choosing all files and i am saving it if you see here once we save it dot java file will get created whenever we do any programming when we compile it in java what will happen two types of files will get created one is dot java file another one is dot class file what we will do in general let's suppose this is our program let's suppose this is our program okay whatever we have written that is our program the program name is sample dot java our program name is sample dot java okay this is our simple program what we will do we will pass this to the compiler we will pass this to the compiler okay what compiler will do compiler after compilation only will generate dot class file okay this dot class file will get generated by compiler once this dot class file get generated what will happen this dot class file is passed to one amazing thing called in the java called jvm that is nothing but java virtual machine okay which will be responsible for us to achieve platform independence okay for every operating system there is separate jvm this jvm will be responsible for achieving platform independence in java and finally we will get the output okay so how this will happen practically let's see it this is our program okay once we saved it we got dot java file okay great let's try to run it okay let's try to run it java c for running it we will use command java c file name dot java file name is sample dot java okay our program got successfully compiled without any error okay so let's see it let's see in the if you see here dot class file got generated okay if you try to open it in the notepad you are not able to understand or it is not able to in not in the readable format this is in the byte code format this is in the byte code format what we will do this will be passed to jvm there will there is one amazing software in the java that is called jvm which is responsible for platform independence okay that jvm will 
take care and JVM will be giving us the feature that whatever compiled code is there, this compiled code is there, no? This compiled code. To any operating system, if we pass, it will be giving us output. It is running on different operating system. Okay. So in the client, in the in the organization, whenever you go, whenever you develop programs in the Java, you won't share Java file or you won't share code with the client. What you will share? You will just share class file. What cli a client have in his computer? Client have JVM. Okay. He will simply execute it and he will see the output. This is how the things will happen. Okay. This is about platform dependency and platform independency. In next lecture, let's understand JVM. Okay. Completely and JDK, JRE, there are parts of JVM. How it will happen in detail, we will discuss. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you all for joining. Have a great day. Bye.